On the mound for your Friars is Sean Manaya. Well, after his last outing at Detroit, three and a third, nine runs, four were earned. But still, this is a this is an outing that Sean Manaya cannot wait to get back out there and try to bounce back. He makes his 19th start. Opponents hitting 239. We know that when he is on his game, he's getting ahead and blowing away the hitters with that high two seam fastball up in the zone. So here we go. Uh, Sean Manaya gets ready to work. And Byron Buxton steps up to home plate. And the 3 1 way outside. There's a four pitch or a five pitch walk. And here comes Carlos Correa. Driven to center. Grisham goes back and makes the catch. One out, one on for Jorge Polanco. And the pitch is a fastball high for ball four. So Manaya two walks. Two on one away Kyle Garlic. Swing and a miss he elevated strike shot Garlic. Two on two down Jose Miranda coming up. Swing and a miss and Manaya back to back strikeouts gets out of the jam Padres are coming up. Dylan Bundy on the mound today for the Twins will make just his second start ever against San Diego. First time he's thrown here in San Diego. Last faced the Padres in 2019 while with Baltimore. Jerks and Profar leads off and the opening pitch a fly ball into right field shallow near the line over Celestino. He'll make a running catch one down. And here comes Manny Machado and the one one pitch popped up. Back of first, the rise battling the sun. Polanco there to help out. Polanco takes charge and cuts in front of a rise. So two up, two down, no score. And now Jake Cronenworth. This is to right and in for a base hit. Two out, single for Jake Cronenworth. Two down, Cronenworth at first and Luke Voigt. And this will get away. So Cronenworth heads to second base, glancing off of Caleb Hamilton, the catcher. That takes care of it. A line drive to Correa ends it, and we're scoreless after one. Here's Celestino. One two pitch, swing and a miss. And Celestino strikes out. That's three K's for Manaya. We're scoreless. Two way here in the second inning for Nomar Mazzara. Good inning again for Bundy. A couple of strikeouts along the way. He's completed two innings on just 19 pitches. Caleb Hamilton leads off seeking his first big league hit and the pitch is on the outside corner strike three call. So one out, nobody on top of the order Buxton he drew a walk. Swings at the one one and it's caught at shortstop by Ha Sung Kim fully laying it out Kim playing a fantastic shortstop timing it perfectly the catch the tuck and roll. That's gold glove stuff right there. Sean Manaya likes it. Two away in the bottom of the third inning as the order turns over. And Jerkson Profar will bat for the second time. Fly ball headed to right down the line towards the corner. And that ball's gone. Home run, Jerkson Profar. His 11th of the year. The Padres strike first on top, one to nothing. Profar catching that one off the bat and releasing it to the porch. One nothing, Padres, top of the fourth inning. One out, nobody on. Kyle Garlic standing in to face Sean Manaya. Swing and a miss over the top of that. Benaya picks up strikeout number five. Two down in the fourth inning. Jose Miranda, a strikeout victim, first time up. Line to one hopper picked on the backhand by Cronenworth. The fire to first, and that's out number three. It's an eight pitch inning. It's a one nothing Padres lead. There's Luke Voigt, three for nine with a homer, three ribbies in this year. He's 13 homers on the year. He could miss. Off the end of the bat, Bundy's got a hustle. Underhanded toss, nicely played by Arise. Two down, and now Hosmer. Tap to short. Correa digs out the hop and throws him out. Leading off will be Larissa Arise. There's a high fly to right field. Off the bat of Arise and gone a home run. Luis Arise ties the game with his sixth of the year. And here comes Beckham to bat. Beckham with a rocket and that one skips by the glove of Cronenworth and now Celestino going to be a tough play Manaya fields and Hosmer digs it out a rise safe it'll be an infield hit for Celestino Beckham at third Celestino at second one out and out sets the table for Byron Buxton and a pop up foul off first Hosmer heads over and Hosmer makes the catch. 
Fires homeward. Nice. Everybody's going to stay where they're at. Nice play. Rocco Baldelli is out to maybe dispute that. Does he think the ball hit the net? Minnesota is challenging that the ball hit the net. I think Hosmer made a legal and clean catch, but it looked like the ball clearly went into the glove before it hit the net. After review, the ball hit the net. It's a foul ball. Wow. Minnesota would change Bob the Melvin comes right out of the dugout. Wow. I'm pretty sure he can't do this. You cannot argue, and that's what they're telling him. He started out there, and they said, nope, you can't come out after it's been reviewed and argued. And he's been tossed. Jerry Lane, the crew chief, throws him out. They told him, you can't come out here. That's part of the rule after it has been announced. And he came out anyway and then continued the conversation, and then they ran him. Well, one out. Here's Miranda to bat. A drive to left field. He's got another one. A home run for Miranda, his 10th. And it puts the Twins up 2 to 1. Stay hot, Jose Miranda. Lead runner on for the Padres, first time today. And here's Jerkson Profar. Line to right, and that's going to get in. Grisham heading for third. Throw will go to second base and gets away, but it's backed up by the third baseman, Miranda. Well, Bundy wanted the extra inning, and the Twins gave him that opportunity, but Grisham and Profar open the sixth with singles, and it'll be Pagan coming in with the Padres threatening. Chato flies out, one down, and everybody's where they're at. And that's Grisham at third, Profar at first base. It's Jay Cronenworth, 1 4 2. Padres trailing by a run, tying run 90 feet away. By the first baseman into right field. Base hit from third comes Grisham. Throw to third will be cut off. Padres tie it up 2 2. Jake Cronenworth driving in the game tying run. First and third, one out. And Luke Voigt trying to put the Padres back on top again. Blooped to right field, falling fast and falling fair. From third base to take the lead is Profar. Luke Voigt drops one into right field and the Padres take a 3 2 lead. The seventh inning, cloud cover at Petco Park at the moment. New pitcher for the Padres, Nabil Krizma. Nabil pitched yesterday in inning, struck out two. So two up, two down. Twins have struck out eight times today. That will bring up Buxton. Swing and a miss, and Krizma gets Buxton to strike out. So back to back strikeouts. It's a 1 2 3 top of the seventh inning. Trevor McGill started the seventh inning in yesterday's ball game, but more and more we're seeing McGill getting spots like this. Two down in the seventh inning. Ha Sung Kim at first base and uh, Profar coming up. Line to left and Garlic coming in, drops the ball off his glove. So Kim stops at third. Looked like he was going to be able to make that catch, hit him in the glove, and he just couldn't catch it in left. Again, first and third action for San Diego. It's Manny Machado a chance to swing the bat. Polanco fields, throws to end the inning. Two down. And Tim Beckham as the Friar faithful stand as one at Petco Park in San Diego. He struck him on the Padres win. Luis Garcia with a one two three ninth inning. Ends up Padres pitching retires the last ten twins in a row to end this ball game.